boy Bossy, and I'm back with another video. You know, we got part 105, part 13 of Black Chicago. Be like, it's a 30 minute, I think. I think it was like what two they uploaded two weeks ago, so the story about to get a little crazier. I'm already knowing. Let's see what this nigga talking about. Oh god, so Pete. Oh, is my volume down? What the hell? Homebody Sheen in the street, she in the slot. Put up. And every chance I get, I'm in her box. You said you laid your babies down at 10 o'clock. Oh, babe, you know I gotta spin the block And whoop your shit And whoop your shit Even in the kitchen, I'ma cook your shit Whoop your shit Whoop your shit Let me pay you for that pussy About to book your Lessons Now, I'm already new Y'all ready to get the black chocolate be like part 105, part 13 Get your add on, my nigga, yes, sir so, I'm talking about I had to endure the traumatic experience of witnessing another man beat my BM buns. Of course, I had to my fellas and crash the party. I'm talking about in the midst of the act, got right on buddy ass. His bare ass. That's why I had to stop in the midst of the initial tussle to get that man a chance to put his trousers back on. But the moment that man got dressed, say less, motherfuckers got right back to it i'm talking about it was wwf monday night raw going on and now he eventually start crunching my dumb man. i ain't even gonna lie to you it didn't stop until my bm picked his pipe up i'm thinking she was finna send the man home pun intended but she ultimately ended up choosing him over me basically saying we cool and all but that's her new man, and I had to accept it. Treated me for real. Caught a wild Uber back to Cookie Crib. Some chick with her dude riding in the passenger seat. I end up getting him to it with both of them. I'm talking about my fucking the bugging up. I'm talking he up pipe on me and everything. Shorty put me out the Uber and everything. I had to call another one just to get home. I eventually made it back to my lady. After my BM had inadvertently reminded me of how good of a woman I got at the crib, I came in getting that freak man, freak man, yeah, that's me, and ha ha Davis voice. You know why I'm here. Assume the position type activity she was with. All that and some more, you hear me? Had to let her know I appreciate her the right way. We cuddling the next morning. She end up getting up to go make me some breakfast. That of which I undeniably earned, if I do say so myself. Did you? Had to be one of the luckiest men on earth, I ain't gonna lie to you. While I was waiting though, I end up picking up my phone and logging on to Facebook. Of course I didn't expect to see somebody send me a video or cell phone footage from when I murdered Cookie Brother. Giving big extortion vibes. Put me in a panic. I instantly let Cookie know I had to handle some <laughs> business and I'll be back. I know she ain't know what to think, but shit had just got critical. I had twine to slide on me. I showed him the video and told him what my folks was on with me, how they was trying to get money up out of me and everything. He chipped in some bread, told me to put my location on and made sure I had pipe with me. Of course, my folks wanted me to show up by myself, so... That was pretty much the most that Big Twan could do to help for real. I was forced to handle it by myself. It was either that or Fool was gonna leak the whole video to the internet. I link up with Fool. He immediately shake me down for the 10 racks that I had. Didn't even care for the amount, claimed I ain't even have enough. Then the man did an unauthorized coat swap took my mind clear and made me where he is having his whole way with me for real for real i can't real lie, life that, you know the mind clear hard you feel me but that jacket really grew on me. The I, like that, I like the other jacket that, like that, that's kind of tough like, not to mention the man hard took jacket. my phone and threw it just in case i had location on of course adult napped me 
made me come with him downtown while he go buy new clothes and accessories with my money made me carry turkeys long story even had me out here doing yard work for his grandparents translated he made me his personal goofy even told me he had plans on sending me to go rob a jewelry store while we was in traffic he ended up bending into this alley to go relieve itself. I saw it as a slight opportunity, so that's when I decided to ask y'all for y'all help. Well, the people have spoken, and y'all have elected for me to send them upstairs. Say less. No way. Since when has become a killing spree? He hit a door slam. He turned around. He show chairs doing out the car. Walking towards him. Ah, uh, uh, he, hold on, hold on, bro, what you on? Zipping his pants up. Ah, hey, take my motherfucking coat off. Toss it over here. He, damn, shorty, you want your fucking coat back? Shit, all you had to do was ask for that motherfucker. He tossed it to me. Ah, nah, I just ain't want to get no holes in it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Lit that man up. Got up out that jam. That second body was way easier than the first. I mean, he not going to... You hear how he talking now? That second body was way easier than the first one. What, what happened to this man? Um, Why he didn't pick bro phone up? He got all the uh, footage on it. I run a couple alleys over. Had to collect myself. I came out of buddy jacket so I can put my own back on. The coast was still clear. After I put my sh back on, I checked the pockets. His cell phone was in one of them. I instantly power that off. Needed to destroy that motherfucker sooner than later. I checked the other pocket and it had the remnants of what cash I had left after he went on his little shopping spree. I put my pole up, had no idea what I was going to do next. All I knew is I had to get as far away from right here as possible. So I just started dipping through alleys and gangways. It was late in the evening, so it ain't take long to get dark. Walking through the alley out of nowhere. Player, player. Playboy smooth, playground player. Hey, let me holler at you. Let me talk to you real quick, baby. Holler at me. Holler at me. Scared the fuck out of me. I'm prepared for my third body heat. Whoa, 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 baby. Listen, now don't pull out the FN on me. I come in peace and prosperity. I'm in a little sticky situation. I need you to help a nigga out. You know what I'm saying? Let me holler at you. Let me rap to you one time. Almost book buddy of flight. Tuck and pull out. What's good? He, listen here. So I had two of my to go service one of my elderly clients at the nursing home, right? You know what I'm saying? So we went to the car. They sucked it real quick. Got that. Boom, bam. I'm walking them back to the nursing home. And these bitches that pulled off with my car, they took the bread and motherfucking everything. Now, cause these bitches like, I'm just out here ass out. My ass is out. Ah, oh, damn. That's crazy. I hate to hear it. He, man, listen, so is there anything you could do for a player? I mean, like right now, not later. You know what I'm saying? Can I get a fish plate to carburetor off your car? Anything, Nick, just help a nigga out. Couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? Let me get my motherfucking nice ass teeth out your mouth. Ah, well, I mean, it's cold as hell outside. I got a coat for you. Tossed it to him. He, oh, oh, damn, player. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh. Smart <laughs> You see, now this is what I'm talking about. You to help the nigga out. This got a hood and everything to it. Blessings on God. You know what I'm talking about? Damn, my bones are warming up already. I'd have fresh prince that motherfucker. Flip it inside out. I'd have been straight. That'd have been a new jacket. Damn, yeah. it's good. What is this made out of? <sniffs> Smells good and everything. Hey, listen, I appreciate it, player. You know what I'm saying? For looking out for a brother. Got the nice shit on. Okay, we gone. I'm going to holler at you. Hey, you keep doing what you do, how you do it. And dipped off. Only in Chicago. I ain't had no phone to call an Uber and I was tired of walking, so I decided to hop on the bus and go look for my phone in the alley buddy threw it at. I get to the bus stop, I notice two dudes on the corner going back and forth, arguing about something. Shit got so real, they broke out a game of rock, paper, scissors right there in the street. One no other way to try to sort things out, for real, for real. Long as they weren't trying to tweak with me, cause I was feeling like pocket juice at this point. One uh, I yo ass could go first, you huff as hell anyway. The other one, listen here, muffin man. Yo ass weak as hell, you can't with me. Muffin man, you already charcoal, but I'm finna smoke your ass right now. 
Charcoal took the challenge. He instantly. Not too shabby at all. I ain't going to lie to you. Muffin man. Okay. I did not expect him to go this way. Yo! Hefty homie did his big one too. For real, for real. Charcoal, I told you I was going to bake your way. Muffin man, fuck to me. Muffin man, boy in the words of Don Terrio, your barbecue. I just smoked yo. What you talking about? Look at my way. He, hey, hey, check it out, man. Who won? I, man, both of y'all last went cool whole time. Shit, I can't call it. Blue charcoal. He, what you mean you don't know what your uh black Air Force one with dreads looking ass? You talking about? Make up your mind. Muffin man, right? F with your fly piranha looking ass up with you boy if y'all know which one of them won make sure y'all drop it in the comments it was either muffin man or charcoal the bus finally come i hop on i pimp to the back and take a seat right after i peep this lady and this dude participating in a little debate buddy i'm just saying that we together in the same household if, if you wasn't with me you have to pay 100 percent. so why can't you pay half if you live there you using half the lights you using half the heat wait wait wait, run that back hold on what he said just saying that we together in the same household if, if you wasn't with me you have to pay 100 percent. so why can't you pay half if you live there okay. you using half the lights you using half the heat true half the bed mm -hmm. you getting all this di i'm just saying the lady all i'm saying is what happened to a man being a man like when did roles change my grandma didn't have to do 50 50. my mama didn't have to do 50 50. and you is giving up half that because i know about shonda buddy but that's beside the point first of all my baby mama don't know what i'm doing when i'm outside the house all i know is when we in the house she eating half the food you know what i'm saying getting half the lights it's a problem she the problem is you the man you the lead Women will take care of the house and the kids. Me and y'all provide. Which one you like better? You want the girl just to kiss the tip or swallow the whole? I feel like, though, I don't know. It's, I feel for one, you need to do what you feel you want to do with your relationship. That's one. But for two, like, think about that shit, though. Like, all right, boom. I pay 100% and you pay nothing. Let's just say that's what we're doing. But you working? Where your money going? That's, going? that's one thing. And then two, if she not working and she in the crib and you paying all the bills... Is she doing things around the crib that she need to do that would make it things a little easier? Like cooking, cleaning, fucking, and, and all that. You know what I'm saying? And then three, if y'all doing 50-50 and y'all both saving, some people would say that's a partnership. But ain't that what a relationship is supposed to be, a partnership? Y'all both can save y'all bread. Y'all both can still invest. If y'all going 50-50, like, what's wrong with that? Even if y'all go 60-40, like, okay, I'll take the, the hit. Like, I don't know. I just feel like whatever, whatever works for y'all. Is what you should he, do. I need that turkey. Gobble, gobble. Eat that whole thing up. She, exactly. Then pay the whole motherfucking rent. But Blue, he, hey, little homie. You ill hustle this whole conversation. What you think about this whole going half 50 50 business? Ah, man, I'm going to have to side with the lady. Pay the whole rent. Whoa, whoa. He, man, I don't even know why I asked you. First of all, <laughs> you by yourself. You got your knees out, got your limbs exposed. And I don't listen to people with bright teeth. I clearly should have mad in my own business. What y'all think? If you got two motherfuckers that's in a relationship and they under the same roof, should they go 50-50? Go on, drop it in the comments and let me know what you think. Eventually, I made it back to the alley where I linked up with dude at. The same alley where he tossed my phone. It was cold as hell outside, so I was hoping it ain't take me too long to locate it. I'm all behind garbage cans and some more shit. About 10 minutes later, lo and behold, I spotted my phone, cracked up something crazy. I pick it up. It was still powered on and everything. Bless us. I peep Cookie had called me like a hundred times. I had to hit my baby back. I FaceTime her. 
Ah. Hey, baby. She. Oh, my God, baby, I've been calling you. You had me worried sick. Are you okay? Ah. I had dropped my phone somewhere, babe. We just found it. My shit cracked up on the front and the back. I just saw that you was calling, so I was just hitting you back. She. Oh, wow. I'm glad you found your phone, babe. Ah. Nah, I'm okay, my love. She cool and all, but it's a little suspicious. She don't ever question this nigga. Like, stop lying. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, because what? What type of story was that? You okay? She, I was just worried about you. I'm okay. I, I'm finna call this Uber and be on my way home right now. She, okay, baby. I'll be here waiting on you. And then hung up. Corbin, don't be coming home. He be gone all day. Don't be coming home till late at night. Every day. And you tell me she not questioning it? At all? I call him Big Twine and let him know I'm good. And you live in her crib? Come on now. No answer on the FaceTime. So I tried to call him regular. No answer. I wanted to at least text him and let him know I was good and it just hit my line. It was finally time for me to call an Uber so I can get up out of those harsh weather conditions. Now I'm posted up waiting for the Uber to pull up. My ears pick up this wow sound. I turn and look. It was a whole equestrian surfer. A real life horse trotting down the street. Buddy standing tall on him for the back. Cool as hell. He stopped the horse. Hop down, he Uber for Bartholomew. Perplexed, I look down at the app. I look up at him, scratching head. Ah, you can do that. In the app, it say you uh supposed to be pulling up in a Mustang. I ain't know that mean you was gonna pull up on a Mustang for real. He see what happened is I got two Mustangs, and one of them in the shop. He wasn't gonna give it to me like that. I hey, let me go ahead and cancel this right now. He. You sure? I, it say another one don't come for 15 minutes. He, one, we can stay here and freeze or we can mosey on alone. I wasn't trying to deal with that Chicago wind chill no longer. I head toward the horse. I'm nervous as hell. I don't know how to approach that. He, why you acting scared for? Y'all probably cousin. Y'all got the same teeth. Ah, mm-hmm. whatever. <laughs> I try walking around the back of that motherfucker. He, whoa, 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 what, what, what's wrong with you, man? You never walk behind a horse. You gonna get your chicklets knocked out your mouth. Ah, I will have bored this mom. <laughs> he, so the traditional way to mount a horse is always on the left side. Come step this way. I follow him around the front of the horse. He, so what this is right here, this is a stirrup. You put your left foot in there and use it to hoist yourself up on top of the horse. That motherfucker was elevated off the ground. I had to manually insert my foot in that. B- I, <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, right up that though. Felt like I was standing on top of them crates. You hear me? The Uber man climbed on top of the horse with ease. Seated himself and then he, hey. Ah, so how long you been <laughs> riding horses? He, three and a half years. Ah, oh God. <laughs> Hey, this nigga Corbin his sound effects, but I gotta give it to him. Why that bit really sound like some horseshoes? So where you keep this motherfucker at? Like in the crib? He in the suburbs. I got five acres. Ah, ah, okay. That's where I was hell. What, what's this motherfucker name? Mister Ed? Chuckling. He nah. That's my boy Prince right here. Ah, I Prince. Real activity. So how fast this motherfucker go? He, you want to say? Hey, 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 hey. And I'm going to tuck off on my granny, boy. It was giving a little house on the prairie. Ah, I, I get it. Okay. Motherfuckers, now I know, now I know where they got horsepower from. We was really out there getting that. Yeah, I'm going to take my horse to the old old town road. road. Y'all at 12 for that guy. Motherfuckers going to ride till they can't no more. I'm going to take my horse to the old town road. My first going to ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. So they got horse tack is attached. Hat Maddie Black in the boots black to match. Y'all ass twig it. 
I'm riding on a horse. Fuck, somehow you can whip your porch. That motherfucker ain't on nothing. Boy, I been in the valley, boy. You ain't been up off the porch on my dead home. Y'all tweak it. We <laughs> riding out of nowhere. He. <laughs> that had to be improv. What the fuck? Hey, you hungry? I whole time. Motherfuckers is definitely fake famished. He. You want to get something to eat? It's on me. Oh, take me home. I, oh, man, I appreciate it. Love. And then threw that motherfucker in a hyper horse. We trotted up to Chicago's Chicken and Waffles over there on King Drive. He real life pogged that mammal. Prince was train train. He dismounted one leg after the other. Meanwhile, it, 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 took, it took me some time, but I got down. I made sure to walk around the front of the horse, even though I was still scared that out of nowhere that motherfucker was going. <laughs> We bopping sad. I was starving like mob, and I had a long day of walking and walking motherfuckers down. The waitress, welcome to Chicago's Chicken and Waffles. How can I help y'all? He look at me. So what you want, partner? I, um, can I get the St. Carol? She. So that's one St. Carol. What else can I get y'all? He, can I get a smothered chicken, double mac and yams? She, okay, got you. About 15 to 20 minutes. I, blast. I don't like how to register downward i feel like as an owner that's like a that's a super bad advantage like what if they come in there and rob you he got hype he got uh ground on you bro nah, i really appreciate it my fuzz was hungry as hell for real waving me off heat that's the least i could do for the vehicle mishap we end up getting our food hot and ready i couldn't wait to do it dirty you hear me he said he was gonna put them a fucking hyper horse all the way home even though that horsey was a nice horsey, I was still face scared of it, but I put my foot in the stirrup, got to my seat, I grabbed the food, so broke him out. <laughs> he hop he, up. Every time he get on, he but do like five bounces. get started into a gallop, at our peripheral, we peep a different type of mammal crossing the street, holding like a horse, I ain't gonna lie. He instantly, sweet mama, ain't your mama, a stallion outside of her stable, Excuse me, ma'am. And Jay, right down. She, I'm sorry. He pinned right up to Shorty. Smooth as hell. He, hi the home, Miss Purdy. How's your night tonight? She, hey, I'm okay. How about you? He, not too shabby for a cowboy. I had to step to you. Hit ass with the, you tickle my fancy. Trying to wrangle Shorty. She, what? You funny as hell. What's to you? He, nah, I'm just kidding with you. I just wanted to know if you want to take a ride on my Bronco. Tipped his hat. She, that's your horse? He turned around, nodded his head. My lamp just nodded my head too. He, yes ma'am. And you want to know something? She, and what's that? He, my saddles. Waiting. Coming. Jump on there. Manish his head, that boy snap. Damn, she never. I'm dead. He, nah, for real, let me get your number so I could rope you up later. Pull this phone out the hat gang. She 773-393-87. Woo, woo, he, thank you much, man. I'll holla at you later. You take care now. And pimped off. She clearly was drawn. I watched that whole little episode of Pimp Chronicles. Came and hopped right back on the horse like he ain't do nothing. Easy breezy. Ah, you ain't never just bag shorty fresh off the horse. He, who could turn down a cowboy with this much sauce? Ah, I gotta give me one of these. A Tesla ain't had nothing on that. After that, I had finally made it home. Mad as hell, I had dropped my food. Hyper horse mode is crazy. I step in. Cookie was standing right in front of me in this little pajama set looked like it was painted on, smelling like flowers. She, hey, baby. Ah, hey, babe. She, I missed you. Ah, I, I missed you too. She, how much? Ah, ain't no ruler long enough. Ain't no scale big enough. She, so, you like what you see? And turned around and showed me the yams. Sweet yams. Ah, nah. I love what I see. She, hmm, we'll see. Follow me. And pranced her way back to the bedroom. Oh, like I knew what time it was. Well, she like some 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 nice silk bed sheets. You know the bed sheets they used to look like that? 
No clock required. So that, that's what the outfit reminded me It was of. demon time. She was in the room waiting for me. Vibe set. I step inside the room. I look to my left. And a woman was standing there. I felt like I had seen her face before. Hey, that's baby. I did. It was the same girl I had seen that day after Cookie introduced me to her brother. Cookie had definitely J down on Shorty that day. I had forgot all about that. Cookie, she looked familiar. Ah, yeah. That Shorty from that day. She, me and Eva been keeping in touch the whole time establishing a little rapport or whatever we actually got real close ah is that so <laughs> my folks really finna get close cookie she was checking on me when i was in the hospital and everything eva and whoever that she is it's on site ah <laughs> you ain't never lied cookie turned to eva and nodded her head towards me eva slowly started walking towards me Got close. I thought she was about to tongue me, but she just slowly pulled my coat off. The tension she created with that alone was crazy. Had me and Mo. I could tell Cookie felt it too. She put my coat to the side and then directed me to come sit on the bed. I look at Cookie. She, go ahead, babe. I want to watch y'all go first. What Dirk say, man, what? Don't mind if I do. Cookie, hey, babe. You trying to make this a movie tonight? And pulled out a tripod to hold the phone up. Ah, really? She, really. And we could record it on your phone so you could watch it again later. Crazy. Ooh, ain't no way you got a bad bitch. Oh, this bitch out here like that? Oh, my God. She freaked out. No. I instantly take my phone out of my pocket, hand it to her. She take the phone, go to pull my camera up. She, bae, Big Twine texting you. I, I just hit that nigga back later. That ain't sh she. I don't know, bae. He said he needs you to pull up on him, and it's urgent. No. I, how you figure whatever that nigga got going on is more urgent than this? How? 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 What's understood ain't have to be explained. She go to set the phone up, but then she, I don't know, babe. He keep texting. You might want to call him. Something could be wrong. I'm trying to get active while this man acting like he in dire straits. I grab my phone. Sometimes I wish she wasn't so caring for real. I FaceTime him. Ah, he not answering my FaceTime. I text him, I, yo, what's up? I'm good, bro. Trying to get to it. You good? He, I need you to pull up on me, gang. ASAP. But he not answering the FaceTime? Nah, something fish. I, I need a couple hours, bro. Maybe shorter than that, LOL. I'm going to slide on you. He, Smokey Norfolk, I need you now, bro. Critical. Make sure you come by yourself. It's personal. Smokey Norfolk, what that mean? The timing couldn't have been worse. Had to pay homage. I, I got to go see what's going on with this man. With a deep side cookie. Well, you got to do what you got to do, babe. Want to take the Tesla? Ah, nah, I'm going to just hop in the Uber. I don't know what he got going on and your vehicle done been caught up in enough shit. She, nah, I get it, babe. Well, I love you. Ah, I love you too. I'll be right back. I whisper to Eva, I'll be right. And I left to go see what was to Big Twine. I was trying to get back to Cookie ASAP. She was the best girlfriend in the world. I pull up to this weird warehouse location. I walk in and what do I see? Big Twine sitting in a chair, bound by the ankles and bound in the chest area with a pole to his head. And who holding the pole? The same girl that stabbed Cookie and put my baby in the hospital. Plot twist. Ah, what the fuck is this? I had questions. She just mean mugged me. Out of nowhere, pulled on to my top. Four females pop out the cut. Get the frisk of me down. Find pole in my coat pocket. Snatch it off me. Hold me. Left me standing there. Shocking all. Big twine. Motherfuckers call me lacking, bro. She sure did. Big freaky bitch. Aggressive as hell. 
however this came about he knew he messed up real bad she you know what's crazy i ain't even know that y'all knew each other until i was in traffic and seen y'all walking out jerk 48 the other day one no cap in her rap we definitely went to jerk 48 the same day i killed cookie brother she i'm wondering why you ain't answering my calls you ain't replying back to my texts. Now it all makes sense. Wow situation. She, so I kept texting him. And I sent him a message that I knew he couldn't ignore. My brother flesh is weak. So I know she sent something through. Super suggestive. She, he pull up. I had everything set up for him. He probably thought he was just finna slide through. Get sitchy one more time for the fun time. Thinking it's shake that ass time. I know exactly how to get to him. Wait a minute. I, I know that. I know that. I know that room. I know that angle. I know that room. Y'all know that room. What ever happened to her? Her cheating ass. Uh, she had an ex side nigga. Y'all never forget that. Stead motherfuckers got right on his. He come in taking his jacket off thinking it's that. I reached right under the pillow, could have popped him, but instead I clocked this dumb on. I'm like, damn, she. And then right after that, I had my, just to drag his big overgrown right up out of her. One arm, yeah, that nigga was heavy as hell, but we figured that out on the side. Flexing and stretching, real champions. Ah, okay, I'm saying no. What's the point? Chuckling, she. What's the point? I want cookie. Ah, you want cookie? She, yeah, cookie. I want a cookie. Look, man, you only got two options. Either you gonna call cookie, find a way to get her to come up here by herself so I can step off, or I'm smoking Big Twine right in front of you. Now what am I supposed to do? She over there will pull the big twine head right now. And the only way to save him is for me to set Cookie up. So what should I do? Allow her to get down on Cookie? Stop killing niggas. Or sacrifice big twine? Stop the violence. Drop it in the comments and let me know what I should do. I, hey. And on the next episode of Black Chicago Be Like Part 105, Part 14, we're going to see what's up. Let me know. Oh, oh God. God. Nah, but listen, though. Come on, man. Rose over. Rose over, host. And the amount of stuff you done put Big Twine through, I'm sorry, bro. If I'm like, I, I understand the situation. Don't get me wrong. Like, I understand. Like, it's messed up, but like, if you were in the situation and you had to choose, like, what can you do, bro? You just go out of, hey, Big Twine, you know what I'm saying? You done helped me through a lot, bro. I got to, I owe it to him. But then Cookie, ooh, Cookie Twine. Cookie Twine, that's my man, you feel me? But Cookie got that cookie. Ah, that's my, ah, I don't know. Oh no! Damn, this is Big Twine though. I'm going with Big Twine, bro. You guys, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you feel me? Smash the like button. Let me know what you think. She's in the comments down below, man. It's gonna be a good one. You need to hurry up with part. Uh, I don't even remember what part it was. Next part. I, I know I'm not wasting my time. I, I know if you ain't crossing the line. I, I know we push gonna shove when shit the fan. You gonna stand on the dime. I, I don't see my smile on post. And now that I'm always gonna ghost. If I'm sick and you fake like so, I'm hot like fire. Come close my roast. I know you. Bitch. I know you are I, I, I know you fool